Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Dawson and I am the Freelance Mama and today I want to uh, take you through a quick tutorial on how to create a beautiful ebook for your business using Canva. So uh, Canva is a really great tool for creating beautiful branded materials for your business and this might include things like Instagram posts, Facebook posts and also um, ebooks. And I um, I found Canva is a really great solution, particularly if you're a non-techie person, to make this really um, professional looking material that you can use for marketing. Um, and so I want to show you how to make an ebook today because that's a really um, popular way at this point in time of helping to attract people to come to your website by providing them with some useful information in the form of either an ebook or an uh, infographic or those kinds of free downloads that you can put up on your website. So to get started, I'm going to show you the brand kit section over here. So you just click through onto that. And this is where you can set yourself up a really nice little um, brand uh, palette for your business basically so you can have your colors your fonts logos and everything loaded into your um into your uh, canva page so to get started i um i've just popped in the brand colors at the moment i've got font that i use regularly so i haven't worried about going ahead and doing this but the easiest way for making your branding look consistent is to have everything the same across your different materials so i've gone on here and popped in my brand colors and that's really easy to do you just have to click on the square and you select the colors that you want um, if you've already got existing brand colors for your business you can just pop the hex codes in down the bottom there and i've gone through and already done that for my business um, if you haven't got colors you might like to start using the color wheel to select colors for your business once you've got those all sorted and in there, it makes it really, really easy for you. You'll be able to see shortly um, when it comes to putting together your materials. So I'm going to go back over to the home page, and you can see here we've got a lot of different options for creating designs. I'm just going to click browse all over here so that I can open that up and see what, what there is that's available. So you can see as you work through loads of different things you can do. Um, handy for both personal and business use but heaps of these things can be created into great little um, freebies for your business so I'm going to come back up here though to the documents tab here and under here I have found that the annual report option is quite good for creating an ebook so I'm just going to click on that and select that option so once that loads up in here you can see you've got a blank project in the middle here and then to the left, you've got lots of different options for what ebooks could look like. So you can just work through and find ones that you think are going to fit in nicely with your brand and what you want your um, what your ebook to look like. And I quite like this one here. I think this is quite a nice starting point. So I'm just going to click on that and open that up. This is a free option, and the Canva membership that I have is a free the free version. Um, I find that there's heaps and heaps of options with the free version, so I haven't bothered upgrading to a paid version. It's ample for what I do, and I think for probably what most people will be doing as well. So you can see I've got three pages in there. You might like those pages and choose to use all three. I'm just going to drag and drop the first page over and pop it on my project. I think that's a really nice cover page. So I'm going to then add in another page, and I might choose to add in this over here as well. Um, I don't so much like this one, so I'm going to leave that one. But I can mix and match with other uh, options within here. So all the different different um, report structures you have are already set up in here. So I'm just going to work through until I find one that I think looks quite nice and works on what I've got already. And I think this one over here does, does work quite well. So you can see that's another free one I can use. So I'm just going to click and open that one up. And then I'm going to come down here and add another page. So when I see these over here, I quite like this one. I'm going to pop that in, just dragging and dropping again. I'm going to add another page and work through, see if I can find another one that I quite like. Um, I quite like this one over here, so I'm going to pop that one in. And then I'm going to add another page, and I might pop this one in over here as well. So you can see now um, I've got a five page ebook here. You might want more pages, you might, might want less pages, but I think this is looking quite good for a little ebook. 
So then I can come back and I can start making this little ebook work in nicely with my brand. So I've got my cover page here and you can see it's all, all um, still in the colors of the original document, but I can just click on the background here and I can start making this fit in with my own brand. So I click up in the little color panel here and that's going to change and give me the options to choose my color palette. And you can see my brand colors pulled through over here. So I'm just gonna click on brand colors and I'm gonna put my little um, pink background in. I think that fits in quite nicely. And then I can just work through the document over here and continue to add my color palette. And again, click in that little green color swatch, selecting my brand color and continuing to work through and change everything here. So I'm just clicking, click the brand color, bring that through and same with this page as well. So however many pages you've got, you can just keep on working through and adding in your brand colors, nice and simple. Okay, so now that I've done that, I want to start making my um, my ebook. I'm gonna you can change all of these fonts. So again, I want to fit it in with my brand colors. So I can see this little line here. I've selected that. I, instead of having that as the gray, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna add the pink in so that it matches nicely. Um, as I mentioned, um, when it comes to colors, I quite like to um, leave some white in there too. I think the white fits in quite nicely with my color palette. So. I'm going to keep that here, but I want to have my, my branded font. So whatever my fonts are, I want to be consistent across all my publications. I'm just going to put in a new heading. So how to create an ebook in Canva. And then we can just go and select that there and come over here and choose the fonts for your brand. So I quite like this ABZ one. So I'm going to come along and I'm going to select that. And then we're going to change the font size. So much like you would in any other application like Word, etc. You just come along and you can choose your, your font size. Choose one that works quite nicely in there. That might be a little bit big. Scale that back. And once you've got that, then you just keep on working through. So this here, you can see it's, the line's not quite in the right space. So I can move this around, just drag and drop. That's what I find is quite great about the whole thing is that maybe I prefer to move the line up. I can just drag that and move that up, move my heading around. It's just sort of a, a click and play option, really. It makes it so easy. So it's starting to look um, consistent with my branding now here. I might want to change this, obviously, for something else. I'm just going to put in um, a guide for small business owners. And then I can see I can put my logo over here. I'm going to choose to leave that blank. So I'm just going to click there and delete these boxes that I want those ones on my ebook. So that's going to look like a nice um, brand consistent cover page here. And I can see I've got this image here and I might want to put something in that is um, more aligned with what my ebook is about. So there's a couple of options for how you can do that. You can come over to the left hand side here and you can see the elements uh, tab there. So you're just going to click on that and you can see here there's an option to add photos and down here there is a free photos option so you can click in here and have a look through the canva photos some of them are free some of them are paid so you might choose one that you like um, there's different themes there's different you can search there's a search box up there um, if you do want to add a paid image in there is an option as you work through to pay for uh, the stock photos that they have but you also can choose to upload your own images as well and you might choose to use a website like unsplash where there are loads and loads of free stock photos that can make your website and your uh, materials look beautiful so i'm just going to come along and choose one um, that looks consistent here with my what we're talking about and making an ebook we're just going to drag this and drop it in there so um, that's really nice and easy again just drag and drop or if you want to use your own photos you can go along to the uploads tab over here on the left and then upload images so you might find that you want to use this one instead I've uploaded this one previously um, it's nice and easy to upload you just click and select your files and upload them and then again same thing if you want to change the image just dragging it and dropping that in there 
nice and simple. So that's my cover page finished and I can just keep on working through the document. You can see here again I might like to change the color here from the green to a brand consistent color and as you work through you can see how really simple and easy you know I might want to change this for my own signature. Selecting, working through, changing the colors. I won't do it all now but you can see how easy that is to do. And then uh, same with all of this material, you can go through, you can change it, you can put your own, you can copy and paste text that you've pre-prepared and put that in and just keep working through your ebook until it all looks beautiful. And if you go through and you can see as we went through some of those other panels had photographs etc on them. So again you can just choose to photograph, drag and drop that in, same with the next one, choose something that you think is going to work for you and click and drag and drop and you can see how easy it is to quite quickly build up a beautiful looking ebook for your business. So once you've got to that stage one thing I would also recommend doing as well is just to add in your website onto your ebook and I think it's a good idea to put that onto every page just to make it for one thing to make it really um, easy to find you but also just to make it clear that that is your um, intellectual property basically and so how you'll do that again you can come back over to the left hand side there's a tab there for text and you can choose to add in this is quite a good size for something smallish so you just click on that drag and drop and you can use that to add more text so I just pop it down the bottom of the page you can see the little ruler comes up as you move it around to try and give you a good location. I like it to be centralized and fairly close to the bottom. So I'm just going to pop that down there. And then you can just go in and put in your own website information. So I'm just going to put mine in here. Again, selecting, changing the sizes to something that works. You can play around with the size of this box. I'll make that a little bit wider. Bring it into center again so that same rule is going to pop up hopefully. And we can make it fit in with our colors. So same as we have with everything else. Select it. I'm going to make it pink so that it matches in nicely. And then what I want to do is I want to add the hyperlink in so that if I click over here, put in my link. And then I'm going to just apply that. So when I turn this into a PDF, you'll be able to see um, the link there and to click on that. It'll just make it a lot easier for people to find you if they come across your ebook. So like I said, just keep working through. You can see this has got a little page numbers box. If you want to make sure, um, if you want to keep the page numbers, just make sure that they're consistent. So this is pulled through from the example template. Um, so you're going to want to adjust all this information around them as you work through and just make it all work in with your brand. So you can see how quickly you can pull something together with this. It is so great, such a non techy solution. And if I want to, um, just to show you this again as well, how we've got this hyperlink on the bottom here, we can just copy this. If we want to um, put it on every page, just a simple copy and then a paste onto the next page. And you can just... Um, yeah, that disappeared. There you go. You can see that's in the bottom of the page there now. And that one again, you might, you might like to change the color so that it, it um, works better. Again, same, same mold. Just work through all of them. That might be better as a black one, maybe. Just keep working through and make it all work for you. So once you've gone through and you've made all the changes and you've got your ebook, then you can go along up the top here and you can uh, choose to download your ebook. So you just want to click up here. And it gives you the option to download it as a PDF, which is great. This is a high quality PDF option that's automatically selected. You might decide to go for a, um, a standard PDF because this, is, this high quality option does make for quite a large file. So if you're going to be emailing or uploading your file onto a website, it's probably quite a good idea to go for this standard option. But apart from that, that's pretty easy. So I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to make it the standard option. And then I'm going to go download and that's just going to work through and prepare my design. When you do this, the design will get saved onto your 
um, Canva page. So you will have a resource library of Canva documents in your homepage on Canva. And then in the future, you can just go back there and um, access your documents. So you can see also my down the bottom here, my PDF is now downloaded. So I'm just going to click on that and bring that up. And I have my beautiful, easy to make uh, little ebook on uh, from Canva in a PDF format, which I can now go ahead and upload into my um, email system to go out as an ebook to my customers. So that is all you really need to know, nice and simple on canva.com and get out and make some for yourself. Just have a play around with it, work through the different design options and make something that works for your business. So I hope that's been really helpful for you today and I look forward to talking to you again soon with some great business ideas for small business owners. And if you want to get in touch with me, then head along to my website, www.thefreelancemama.com.